Okay. We got some science. We got too much science. We've got too much science. Let's, uh... Because this is only five science here. Um, and this is a whole lot of parts, too. We're gonna go with basic rocketry and examine all these parts first. So let's see what, what we have and whether everything looks properly balanced price-wise. Okay, we don't have any new probe cores, it looks like. Everything seems to be already unlocked. Um, maybe I have that setting wrong. I should play under harder difficulty. Does it have a... Or maybe that's only an option when you start the save. Hold on, let me uh, go back to the main menu. So, let's say start new. I just did a standard thing. Oh, no, start new. RP 2000 test 2. Okay, difficulty options. Oh. Well, let's start hard. Let's have a hard one. So all hard. I will have indestructible facilities though. Require signal for control, I think. Yeah, let's have those things. And I guess we'll just toss those on just in case. Okay, so this will be test two. Let's see. I'll just copy the error B in. Well, yeah, maybe we'll have to pay for it though uh, to unlock the parts. So that'll be interesting. But I'll just get the our error B Neo and. And the Airbnb 100. So, we'll have the start parts. So let's just go straight to Mission Control. Where are you? Pick up those. Starting fresh again. Well, now we don't get that much money out of it. So, okay, maybe it's not that crazy. Okay, these again don't need unlocking, it looks like. Let's just get the 100. Okay, so throttle up, SAS on, ignition, and launch. Well, should have gotten launch our first vessel. <laughs> Why did we not get launch our first vessel anyway? Well, gosh darn it. Maybe we need to transmit data? Well, we got another world's first milestone, but it didn't read launching our first vessel. Maybe I shouldn't have copied the craft file? I don't know. Hey, don't talk to me about what the plasma stuff is and when it stops us from transmitting. Oh no, we're bombing the space center. It also released its parachute in that situation, which is... Interesting, too. Oh, we forgot to decouple the stage. Well, we did actually bomb the Space Center. Poor guy walking along the paths had no clue. <laughs> Will it stick the landing again? Yep. It eventually flops. Free science earned. Got a fair amount of the funds, and we got a lot from the world's first milestones, but not for launching our first vessel for some reason. Will it ignore the fact that we escaped the atmosphere as well? I don't know. And does this count? Well, something happened. Yes, this counts as our first vessel. I don't understand, but okay, fine. I didn't even notice the other one. The other one was too small. Okay, ignition and separation. Ah, oh, it didn't ignite. Oh, great. Well, I'm surprised we still get it a little bit. But we could um, hot stage it a little bit earlier. Okay. 
is now officially gen. It's still January first. Good. We were just doing it like to celebrate the New Year's or something. We were launching Arabies, and we missed uh, up. Uh, we missed the easy contract. The any science around Earth will do contract. Technically, uh, we've got enough to go ahead and unlock stuff. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, let's just uh, get this basic oil rocketry right now and see about the part balance on th these. Okay, still we don't have any new probe cores, but now we have to unlock parts. So, uh, able fuel tank unlock cost is 1,800. Able, able star 1,800. That seems a little bit lofty for this level. I think. What part is that? That should be in a higher tier, I think. We've got able fuel tanks. The Delta... Basic Delta... I think the, that fuel tank is probably a little bit too powerful for here. K-K-E-L-T-T-A-T dot R-S-27 edition. Great. That, you know what, we should just put that under... Uh, Boeing Legacy, I think. Okay. Um, Nipper third stage. I think that should probably be in Use Mash's things. And then Cyclone. Also Use Mash, Use Noi kind of thing. Those we're gonna have to deal with the pricing separately. Yes, yes, Boeing would own the property rights to the McDonnell Douglas things, that's right. Okay, so those will be moved. Now, pricing-wise, I guess we should really judge everything by the procedural tank, because that's got to be the most annoying thing to change. We should unlock that. Let's say I get an Able 1 fuel tank. Okay, so this has 6,000 kiloliters. This is tiny. This has only 1,430 kiloliters. 14 units only. I mean, who's ever gonna use these? We can charge a little premium for it, but seriously though. I could toss this under Aerojet Rocketdyne, but I, I, I don't think the such old parts shouldn't be part of the, the mix on that. Let's make it cost 20.66 or something. We already paid up front 1,800 to develop it. Maybe we should fill it, fill it with fuel first. What if I just toss in IRFNA? That's pretty... 38. Fine. Okay. That we moved. That's still here. 2,000? Well, I mean, you can fill it with whatever. It's just for looks. I mean, there's no problem, for instance, you could take the the tank, right, and you can get the tank, and you can attach whatever engine you want to it. Um, I don't know what which one we want to unlock here. We don't have a whole lot. Let's say Vanguard engine. Let's talk about things you wouldn't use. Uh, fine, we got a Vanguard engine, and we stick it in there, and then we could just... Show tank UI, remove, remove, remove. We'll keep the electric charge. And add the mix for the Vanguard engine. It's poking a little bit, but there you go. You got to use it for that. So it's mainly just the look of the thing and the physical size of it and its capacity. Yeah. Vanguard engine is like a really, really horrible early Merlin engine. <laughs> when, when you think about it, I mean, at some point they must have had a really crappy Merlin engine that, or a small scale Merlin engine that got really horrible ISP. The Kestrel wasn't particularly good. And then there's the first stage. I think the first stage should cost more to unlock than 1,800. That's 1.8 million. Let's make it... I don't know, is there something else equivalent here? The procedural tanks are super helpful, so unlocking those should be a little bit more expensive. 
Uh, I'll say 3,600. Sorry, it is all finicky business, but you guys can give your opinions. We're beyond our limit here, so if you were actually going to launch a Thor, you're going to need to upgrade the pad. Technically, uh, RP0 had the pad limit at 40. But, and you use custom barn kit to change that, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. We'll see. Uh, that's about the same volume. 343, huh? I think we'll go with that. I should get the dry mass of these and judge by that how advanced and how expensive they should be. That'll be the next thing. We're just doing first approximations, but some of these tanks might be very advantageous, and I'm not taking that into consideration here. You can't really tell what's really the killer part. Far Future Technology mod? Um, well, if Far Future Technology already is integrated into Community Tech Tree, that then it'll be automatic. Uh, did, did they put their parts into Community Tech Tree? That's why I decided to base it on Community Tech Tree. Because Community Tech Tree already includes a lot of other mods that I don't have to personally fiddle around with then. So yeah, for those unaware, uh, I'll just take a little break from the numbers there and go to the Tech Tree. Orbital class, well, I mean... Whatchamacallit, uh, SpaceX didn't even do the sounding rocket, did they? And the contract sort of required that. You know, the next contract up is go to orbit. I'm making it accessible for stock players, and that is what they'll do next. So, yeah, basically. Not a really good orbital class rocket. Mind you, those orbital class rockets can launch a explorer probe. So anyway, we've got uh, the whole community tech tree thing and um, KSC phased array laser aperture upgrade. I don't know. There, there are things. I haven't got KSP interstellar in here yet because I needed space for all Raider Nix parts. Uh, there's a monument launcher. I, I placed that under colossal rocketry. I think that's fair. And then the the aerospike. SSTO is under gigantic rocketry, and then uh, we've got the smaller air spikes under experimental rocketry. So I placed my parts around. Here's the ED6 and all. Um, though we'll have to examine. Well, well, first of all, these parts need to move off to uh, Energomash over here, which has all those. I might have to up the cost of doing business with Energomash somewhat. Anyway, so that's the idea. So community track tree is ready to go for most things. Of course, not all things we mart RO cap uh, compatible. It'll say non-RO for some stuff, uh, depending on whether the mod's RO compatible. But uh, so we can work on RO compatibility separately. But we might have to fiddle with pricing, but otherwise it'll be there. I'm trying to fill with pricing as little as possible. And these aren't the most sophisticated engines. You know, it is an orbital rocket, but you've got crappy, crappy engines to make your orbital orbital rocket out of. We we have uh, the best engine we've got is this. Well, I mean, most powerful engine we've got is this one, with the ethanol, liquid, uh, oxygen, A7 style. So otherwise, we've got the Scout rocket here too, but yeah, you got tanks, but you don't have. The engines. Tanks are easy to make after all, so it makes sense that they're at a lower tech level. But, okay, first of all, we need to go to escape the atmosphere, so we'll once again bring out the Neo and try that again. Uh, we'll, we'll examine the engine prices later, but, you know, 400,000 for, uh, for a Vanguard engine doesn't seem wrong. Microsac... Well, adding contracts is a whole other thing. Yeah, adding contracts I'll have to think about separately for now. First we're going to arrange the tech tree, then after the tech tree is all nice and good I'll look at the contracts. Of course RP0 and RP1 have a very complicated contract structure and everything. Okay.
Okay. Uh, it was too... Mm. I can't revert now, so... Yeah, I'll abandon the mission. V2s and Airbies. Well, it's not the V2. It's it's launching an engine that's just as crappy as the V2 engine. It's it's not the same thing. I mean, think Copenhagen suborbital or something, Bitgo. I mean, uh, if you want to leapfrog beyond it, it's easy to do so right now, apparently. So, I mean, we've got the science. We could, or you could do a deal with. If you want to not do that, as long as you got some science, you could do a deal with an Ergomash and start using one of their engines, right? You could go orbital sciences and uh, get one of their, uh, well, that I don't, an Ergomash, uh, Energia, uh, because of the N1 rocket, gets the NK engine. So if you wanted to pick up your NK engine, oh, but there's a current. Uh, past production will cost you a little bit more science. If you want the NK engines, they're under past production. Um, but current production, if you want their uh, current engines, um, that's easy enough. So go for that, yeah. Or you can make a deal with somebody else. Making a deal with SpaceX should probably cost a lot more research because they don't... We haven't seen any indication that they share anything, so... Uh, I'll have to think about that. But yeah. You don't have to develop your own parts if you want to avoid that, but... Yeah, I'll make the... Well, I mean, it should be beneficial for you to use your own parts. So I'll make sure after we get the... Your own parts part of the tech tree organized, I'll make sure that the proprietary parts are more expensive, yeah. But you can get them very easily, quickly, without doing all the research. Um, so, it, I mean, you could... Just rely on crappy research and unlock the A7 engine now and get a crappy engine. Or you can do more science with sounding rockets and go up the tech tree. And instead of doing uh, using the crappy engines like the Vanguard engines and spending your money buying those, you can just go ahead and get the better engines later on in the tech tree. So that's an option. So there are strategies here. This launched properly before. I just need to re uh, start the engine a little bit earlier, I think. Throttle up, now say us on, ignition. Okay, I'll start now. It still did it. Gosh darn it, Araby Jr. You were so good before. Fine. We're just gonna make a bigger rocket then. Let's see if the scout rocket... I mean, the scout rocket should be able to do it. You actually do get upgraded Airby parts as well as you go up the tech tree. <laughs> as important as that might be, I don't know. But uh, Raider Nick made uh, advanced Airbys, so I decided putting them all at the first tier didn't make any sense. Not that using more Airbys necessarily makes sense later. It depends on the contracts though. So let's say we use the Explorer 1 core. On a, on a scout. I, I'm surprised we don't have like a scout. Oh, but it might be under engineering. Mm. As some of the scout stuff is split. So we can't make a proper scout rocket. 700 seems expensive. Um, you know what? The unlock costs for the all the... I feel like the unlock costs is expensive, yeah. Um, let me see. The Air B at 1,800 per part probably would be too expensive. To, but we got all the Air B parts right away. Stage 1. Entry cost. How much would you say would the, be the cost of the development of the Scout first stage? 100 million? And the real cost, we should just go with the comparison. Well, it's actually pretty big, you know. Hmm. I might have to reconsider that. Maybe 500,000 is a bit too cheap. Oh, I can only make one a length of three. Well, there should be a premium since I can't make it longer than this. Um, 450. Okay, so how much is this? So uh, It's actually pretty expensive. 
470 kill newtons. I guess that could be pretty useful at this stage. I, I haven't decided how much it'll take to build a monument rocket in real life. We haven't gotten there yet. So our pickle is that it, uh, a lot of the structural parts for Scout is under they're under engineering. I don't even know if we have any fairings at all. We don't. So we're gonna have to maybe like mount it with a procedural tank. We don't even have a procedural decoupler yet. Oh, we only got cylinder and polygon. We don't have cone shape tanks. We have to unlock cone shaped tanks separately. What? <laughs> what is this madness? Why why are cone shaped tanks so special? Okay, fine. So that idea is not happening. There was this nose cone fairing and instrument section for Juno 1. Does it have any inst actual science? It doesn't look like it. So, where are our baby sergeants and how much do they cost? Baby sergeants? Okay. Entry costs nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I can't argue. A hundred, though. I don't think it should cost a hundred. And we don't have the cluster separatrons. Gosh darn it. That's also under engineering. $900,000? Well, how much would you pay for a single baby? I keep asking you guys these this stuff and you never have an answer for me. How much would you pay for a bunch of baby sergeants? Or just one baby sergeant? Well, we can't... Without a decoupler, we'll need some sort of decoupler. Halo decoupler. Well, that works. I'm paying the bad price for these right now. I've already adjusted the price. 50? 50 for a single baby sergeant? Oh, well, that's a half cost, but I think that's better. I don't understand why 11 of them isn't just 11 times one of them. I guess maybe a discount if you buy in bulk? I guess we'll go with that. We'll have a discount if you buy in bulk for them as well. Let's see, uh, I was gonna fit the scout stages to this. Third stage, how big are you? Well, you're a little bit bigger. Hmm. Okay, fourth stage. Ooh. I like how you enveloped it. That's good, but we don't have a decoupler here. Guess we'll have that decoupler, I don't know. We'll ignore the fairing aspect of it. This has attitude control on it. It's got the HTP. So that's okay. We've got a lot of Delta V though. 8,840. Of course it's a tiny, tiny payload. That's a lot of thrust weight ratio too. 8,840. I mean, we could guarantee it by slapping on a second stage to it. But we need some sort of decoupler in the middle here. Hmm. Maybe that'll work. Now we have 11,000. I don't know, it's a scout without its first stage, but an explorer probe on top. And a baby sergeant. Baby scout, alright. Cub scout would have been good, yeah. Levels, yeah, I could. If I wanted to extend this, like SpaceX, we, I mean, we could have SpaceX 2000, SpaceX 2005, SpaceX, because we're starting in 2000. So we could say SpaceX 2000, SpaceX 2005, 2007, 2009, etc., 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 and make a whole long SpaceX thing. And I guess maybe the same with Blue Origin if I want to move that Mitsubishi plan production out of the way. Uh, so we could have a extend out here. Even as it is for me, it's ambitious. Once I let you guys have it, then you guys can fiddle around with it 
and maybe learn to code. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, so I, I'm doing it without making a new plugin. We've got this odd skirt at the bottom here. I don't know. We don't really have a scout fin. Scout doesn't have a fin. Do we have control with the second stage? Well, it says it has HTP. Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Uh, we need a launch clamp. Well, at least we won't have to worry about the fuel being unsettled. I mean, it's sort of horrible what I'm doing. I'm basically giving you guys a whole bunch of SR... Uh-oh. What was that splash sound? Okay. A whole bunch of SRBs at the beginning. But then again, that is what happens in stock. So it should be familiar to stock players. So there's that. I don't think... What? Things are exploding. What? There's a lot of explosion happening. I guess it, uh, because I abandoned the mission and it's it's dying. I think it was the air bee that we had just launched. That's interesting. What if one piece just suddenly landed on us and took out this rocket? Okay, well, uh, I guess I have to have RCS on for the HTP to work. I suppose so. All right. Launch. Oh, uh, it's doing a lot of RCS. Oh, I, I don't know how that's working. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Ah, uh, maybe I should have kept RCS on. But it seemed to be co constantly blowing. Well, shucks. I guess we'll test some decoupling. Uh, 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 uh. I just wanted to test decoupling. Uh, couldn't quite spin itself safe. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. We got data, yeah. Yeah, it was a success, total success. Okay, so yeah, I don't know how this handles itself, so maybe, just maybe we should, like, have fins. These are, those are non-actuating fins, but, and they're tiny, but shoot, it's better than nothing. It's like the claws go right on the fins or something. Okay, so we'll have fins, and hopefully something is, it has RCS, it's just that on launch I don't think the RCS is necessarily a good thing to use to control it. Oh, I'll turn on the RCS fine. Go! We need to get to orbit and everything. It's not super duper moving itself. We might have to do like uh, tilting it at the start deal. Uh oh, it's getting wobbly. We're already at a out of the atmosphere apoapsis though. Oh, oh, let's stop the HTP. We're even using HTP from up here. Let's just um here. Change of plans. Separate off that stage and RCS on and Oh, your RCS does not appear to be working. Uh, no, let's just go surface. Can you... Yep, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I'm gonna roll... And... Ignite! No, SAS, don't stop it. wonder why the RCS thing still puffs when I'm... We're not holding anything at all. We don't have SAS on.
No, I mean, we're still very much in sight of the KSC. And this has a uh, 500,000 antenna rating. So hopefully it's all going to be good. And final. Uh, well, it's sort of like Explorer 1 had like a 5,000 kilometer apoapsis, so it's sort of like that. Send antenna. Activate Geiger counter. Transmit data. I guess uh, it used to be that the Explorer 1 probe had a thermometer, a whole bunch of things, but now it's just a Geiger counter, huh? Okay, well, success. We escaped the atmosphere, but then we also made orbit. Are they gonna... Still have the orbital contract there? I might have messed up on that. Explorer. Ah, they took away the orbital contract. Return to Earth from orbit. Now they got extra requirements and they're not even paying us that much. <laughs>